Hey guys, Western Mind Detective here coming at you with another hiking and aircraft crash site video. So on today's adventure, uh, this is going to be a pretty strenuous hike for me. I'm going to be going over these series of ridges. There's about three of them right here. And then the highest point that I achieve is going to be right around here at 7,000 feet. If I really wanted to and have time, I'll hit up that uh, peak right there. That's, I believe, 7,200 something feet. But the uh, wreckage site itself, don't know if you guys can see it, but I could definitely see it with my naked eye, is right there. Pretty much the whole tail section is uh, up there and intact. And that is the wreckage site of a Grumman SA-16 Albatross, which is a pretty big aircraft, so will be super cool to see up close. I'll try to get some drone footage uh, when I get there and also going along this uh, route. Those are some pretty steep ridges, especially right here, going down that. But yeah, definitely looking forward to this. Got up nice and early, drove out here. Beautiful, beautiful, perfect day. And uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to getting over there. All right, there she goes. Alright, so I'm on my way to the first ridge, which looks to be the steepest, but on these ridges, looks can be deceiving. That second one looks decent. Still got a pretty good distance to go. Hasn't been too hard of a hike yet, but... I'm sure once I go from 7,000 feet down to where that plane wreck is, I believe it's a drop of around 1,000 feet, so gonna really suck on the way back. But I'm getting there. All right, so I came across this pretty cool find. This is a geographical boundary marker for Death Valley National Park and actually has a year right here of 1977. Pretty cool find right there and I almost made it to the top of this first ridge. Alright, made it to the top of this first ridge. Now what I have to look forward to is getting up to there and also there and all the way over there. So I've still got a good distance but I don't know how many miles I've done so far I would guess right around one and a half or two. Probably three more until I get there. Not bad, not bad. So at the very tip top of this second ridge, we have yet another Death Valley boundary marker, also dating to 1977, and a few metal stakes. So a little fun fact for you guys, I believe back in the 1980s, they extended the boundary of uh, Death Valley National Park about 25 miles west so this is the old boundary marker and present day death valley extends way over that way so now you guys know if you didn't already know that but 
we're uh, definitely getting there. There's the 7,000 foot peak. So I just gotta go over that, up that, over that. Yeah, it still looks like a lot. <laughs> and then the crash site's over there, so. Yeah, let's get to it. All right, so still traversing. This particular portion is quite rocky. I feel like the more I get over there, the steeper it's gonna get. So, we'll see. Well, it looks like I see another couple metal stakes. All right, let's continue up. All right, so I made it to the top of the next ridge and I'm looking down into this canyon and there's quite a few cool looking natural cave formations. There's a wide one right here. Looks like there's one right there. I've seen another one right there. So maybe on a separate trip, that would be cool to investigate those. All right guys, we're getting there. I'm right below the 7,200 foot peak. And pretty much I just gotta go up that ridge. And then, uh, I don't know what's past there, but I still got, I would guess maybe a mile, mile and a half to go. Super beautiful views. The fact that this is Death Valley and it's all nice and green like this, it's really awesome to see. So here's our first glimpse of this crash site from this side of the mountain. It's literally right across over there. And that tail section is just huge. Can't wait to see it up close. All right, so I'll give you guys a little bit of context and history on this crash site right before we get to it. Just so you have a little bit of uh, perspective and understanding on how this uh, went down and how things unfolded. So uh, this albatross was part of a uh, CIA flight training mission and it was flying from Idaho to San Diego. And one of the engines started losing power right over Death Valley over there. And I'm assuming it uh, cleared this ridge right here. And uh, there were six passengers inside. Fortunately, they were able to uh, eject. They, they had uh, parachutes. And they probably aborted somewhere around this general vicinity. Obviously, kept flying, kept flying. Boom, crashed right into that mountain. Probably at the top right there, I cracked the, the airframe or fuselage in two or three pieces, and pretty much half of it, like pretty much the whole tail, is still there. I don't know if the rest of it, the rest of it's probably way down there. Don't think I'm going to get to it uh, at least today because um, this is definitely a longer hike than I was expecting because. Uh, Looks like I have to go right that ridge and then that it doesn't look like a lot but that's a good distance uh, 
But yeah, pretty much crash into that hillside. They removed all the uh, classified shit, all the all the top secret stuff. Uh, who knows if we'll find an engine or something cool. Um, but all I know is that pretty much that that tail section, and then I I might see like half or part of a wing below it and then there's just a lot of smaller pieces but uh yeah let us get over there before we lose all of our daylight so following this uh trail up pretty much almost to the top top of that peak uh. yeah this hike is uh I knew it was going to be strenuous, but more strenuous than I thought it would be. Man. It's so hard too because I could do 12, 15 miles on flat ground easy, but this is just like ridges up, down, up, down. This is a neat killer. All right. All right, I am pretty much at the top of the peak. I think the actual peak might be right here. There's a metal stake right here. Uh, wasn't planning on going up this high, but I looked at the side of this mountain and uh, there's just like so much scree and it looks like there's a couple a uh, couple places where it cliffs out so really don't want to risk it even though I went a little bit higher than I anticipated hopefully there's an ammo can and I could sign my name in there <laughs> see I told you guys I wasn't lying there's the ammo can. Let's take a look in there. Views from up here are amazing. Got snow in the distant mountains over there. Hell yeah. All right, hopefully there's a, a log in here. All right. I need two hands to open this. Yeah, I wonder when the hell the last time someone opened this thing. Yeah. So I'm sure there's a log in here. And you got some pens. I'll put my name in there. Alright, so now it's time to start the thousand foot descent down. Right here on this ridge, we have a couple. Uh, I believe these are juniper trees. It's one right there, little one right there, and another one right there. But yeah, I can definitely see crash way better now. There's a piece of metal right there. like a hair clip. I don't think that's associated with the crash since we're still a good distance away from it but that's an interesting find. But yeah if you guys look down let me see where is it right there a little piece of metal that is the tail so I don't think I'll uh, turn you guys back on until I uh, make it pretty close to there. Alright guys, so that's looking where I just came from. There's the peak. Man, the hike's gonna suck. But this is insane and amazing. 
there she is. That's pretty much like half of the aircraft. And I actually see the impact site right there in that little groove. I see a whole bunch of metal. So yeah, pretty much came in from there. Boom, right smack into that rock. And that is where it ultimately en ended up. And there's just so much more stuff right up in that wash. So uh, yeah, gonna get some drone shots, gonna get down there. I'm super excited. This thing looks crazy from up here. Right now, this is like, I'm on a 50 foot cliff. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to go around that way. All right, we've gotta be really careful going down here. So easy to twist an ankle or something. Oh my god, look at that thing. I cannot wait to be right next to it. I'm gonna get some really cool drone shots. Hopefully I could get like on top of it so I could show you guys like a perspective on how big this is. <laughs> this is so damn cool. Uh, but man, yeah, look at that. Just a straight rock face right here. Makes sense why it's all smashed up. All right, well, I'll uh, turn this off. I'm getting down. All right, so there's looking down the chute that I came down. After it was pretty much like almost vertical. I felt like Spider-Man going down it, but Definitely worth the effort looking behind me. Just look at all this mangled up mess. But each piece tells a story. Um, honestly, I don't know what that is. <laughs> This little clamp hmm. is interesting. Oh man, but just look at all this. So much stuff. Damn. Oh, it's super steep. Oh, Let's see what kind of stuff we can find right here. Looks like there's a good amount of stuff. This looks like a light fixture. Need a searchlight. Oh, and that big old heavy piece. So right there, that writing says safety link. Do not replace with oversized bolts. That is just pure metal. That thing is heavy. Oh, and right here, looks like we got a little motor. Let's see, that says Fractional Motors Company, Chicago, Illinois, Motor Tech Aircraft, Direct Current. Has a serial number 1728. Made in USA. Yeah, that's a little baby motor. That's a cool flying right there. Let's see what else we got here. Um, yeah, there is just way too much stuff to look at. This little thing got some writing. Actually, looks like porcelain. Actually, there's another piece of porcelain. Almost looks like an insulator. Might actually be. Sidestepping over here. This little yellow box looks interesting. Oh. 
looks like an avionics component. Not sure what that was. You know, it would be cool to find like a radio or something in this debris. Oh, it has little gears on here. Another on that other side. But yeah, let's check out all this stuff before the sun comes down too much. Oh, I knew that this had to be here, so. Here's one of the engines. I don't know if this is the one that failed. Damn. How many cylinders is that? Let's see, there's a hole here, there's a hole here. Let's see, there's... Hmm. 20 cylinder? Does that sound right? I'm honestly going to do some research on uh, what kind of engine that these albatrosses had. It almost looks like it's 20 cylinders. Partially buried, but you can see that it's painted yellow. Damn, what a find. That is sick. Actually, it's still almost... It's like kind of connected to the airframe, so that's cool. Huh. Yeah, that piece. All right, let us continue on. Let's see what else there is to see. There you go. Just a Another shot of that engine from here. Oh yeah. There's a propellers actually. One, two. And I'm guessing the third is on the other side. What the hell? Paranormal activity. One of those pieces <laughs> just fell. That's weird. But yeah, we got three props right there. One pretty much buried under there. Wild. I just seen that. Here's the horizontal stabilator. Let us see if I could hop on here. Oh, this is sketchy. I hope this thing don't come. Oh, oh my god, look at this. Oh, I'm just gonna sit here for a second and just admire this. That whole stab is there. Pretty much that whole tail wing is there too. This thing just side up. Sideways as hell. There's looking up. Just insane. I cannot believe oh, that all this stuff is in here. I'll try to get a shot in here, but this, ooh, this aircraft is super sideways. Oh my god. There's a look inside. That window actually still has glass. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Oh, I can't believe this thing's still here. I mean, it's, it's like this intact. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna get some drone shots because I know it'll look cool. So cool. And probably head down there 
check out some of that other stuff there's more scattered right there but yeah Here's another shot of the horizontal stab, tail, wing. You can see where the national insignia was right there. Pretty sure that's where they ejected out of actually. That's why that's popped out like that. There's the rest of it. One zero zero one. That is just so awesome. Got some pretty sick shots so far. Definitely excited to see how they turn out. <laughs> this is definitely a sick ass drone. <laughs> guys just sitting here uh, just got done taking the drone shots I think they came out really good hopefully on video they came out good as well um, honestly I think that's the end of this video uh, as you can see the Sun has gone down substantially um, I would really love to continue exploring especially since there's a lot more stuff down there but you know, it's it's just smart not to hike most of the hike in darkness. Uh, I do have good lights, but you know, definitely uh, getting your footing is is way different in the dark. So uh, I'll just end the video here, um, and I'll uh, get out of here with about two hours of sun remaining. But what an epic! What an epic explore and hike that was, and uh, definitely worth it getting to this uh, the side of this SA-16 Albatross crash. Um, I definitely want to do a part two here, because uh, like I said, there's a lot more down there. But anyway guys, gotta get out of here. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.